हेलो वेलकम यू आर लिसनिंग टू डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह टुडे इन यूनिट ट्वेल्व डेसेंट एंड एलियंस अप्रोचेस टू द स्टडी ऑफ किनशिप इन इंडिया वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग आवर टॉपिक डिफरेंट अप्रोचेस टू द स्टडी ऑफ किनशिप सिस्टम एंड द अप्रोच इज एलियंस अप्रोच In describing a kinship terminology, it is usual to denote the speaker by the name of ego. The word ego means I in Latin and refers to the first person singular pronoun. The speaker and ego can either be the male or a female. Secondly, kinship terms can also be divided into two types. One type covers the term of address. This means that certain kinship terms are used when people address each other. Then there are those terms which are used for referring to a particular relationship. These are known as the terms of reference. Sometimes the two types may be expressed by one term only. Thirdly, you would also like to learn how to write long kinship terms in short. For example, if you wish to write mothers, brothers, daughter, you may do so by writing the MBD. Take another example, father, sisters, daughters, son can be stated as FZDS. Here Z stands for sister and S for the son. In the same way, you can write in short FFBD for fathers, fathers, brothers, daughter. This may method of writing kinship term is useful when one is describing various sets of kinship terms. Now let us come to the next point, marriage rules. Just as kinship groups describe the form of kinship system found in the society so also rules for marriage categories of people who may may not marry each other relationship between bride taker and bride giver provide the context within which kin relationship operate talking about these issue gives us an understanding of the content of the kin relationships it is therefore necessary to speak of marriage rules for understanding any kinship system. Now the next point is exchange of gifts. Sociologists like to describe social relationship between various categories of relatives as there are always two terms to any relationship. Kinship behavior is described in terms of pairs. For example, the parent-child relationship would describe kinship behavior between two generations. This sort of description is possible only when you make a study of the kinship system of a particular social group. In the context of our discussion, in this unit, we would focus on the chain of gift giving and taking among the relatives for understanding the behavior aspect of kinship system. This discussion gives us an idea of how kinship groups interact and how particular person play their kinship role. You will find that by describing the above four dimensions of the kinship system in relation to North and the South India, you will be able to obtain a fairly general picture of the pattern of kinship in the two regions. Before proceeding to the next section, it is important to mention one more feature of, of your st study of kinship system. You need to learn about kinship diagrams which are graphic representation of fairly complicated kinship structures. The depiction of uh, kinship diagram makes it not only much easier to grasp the nature of different type of kinship groups, marriage rules and their implication but also presents the possibility of visually comparing them with other kinship system. Sociologists and anthropologists invariably use them for explaining various kinship structures. 
Now let us conclude the unit. You have focused on four major aspects of kinship structures to discuss the application of the descent and alliance approach of to understand kinship pattern found in North and South India. The four aspects refer to kinship groups, kinship terminology, marriage rules and ceremonial exchange of gifts among kin. Here we want to close this lecture and we have come to the end of the unit. Thanks for listening.